Ladies and gentlemen, apes and apets, welcome back to the channel. AMC had a strong day overall, closing up 3.3% and up 0.39% here in after hours so far. We did see a wild sell-off like we typically do with the SPY, either a rally into the end of the day or a sell-off, and it does affect AMC, and it did today to the downside as you can see in the spy things were looking beautiful and then you get an end of the day sell-off this is showing you that volatility is still here and it is here to stay so expect the unexpected in the marketplace right now but here in this video we're going to go over everything you guys need to know for amc and why i do think amc is going to rally upon their earnings so hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already comment down below do you think amc is going to rally on earnings do you think it is going to drop let me know your thought process on that and if you guys want access to all of our trades in real time check that link out in the pinned comment we have been killing it over there now jumping straight into it amc closed the day 15 dollars 35 cents per share above $15. That's the key level that we have been watching for for a while now. And it's good to see that we did close above that. I think that goes without saying. Now, we did get the jobs report that came out today. We actually added 467,000 jobs. So this is a bad thing if you wanted a reason for the Fed to not be as hawkish on the economy, to raise rates um, potentially not as fast or to not um, have their assets run off their balance sheet as fast. Both of those make rates go up your real interest rates that me and you would pay if you go to get a house or a car. And we did not get any of that today in the jobs report. So that's very important to keep in mind. Everything revolves around the Fed. It does not matter what AMC does in particular. It only matters what the markets think about the Fed. Now, if you guys have not seen, AMC did secure $950 million in a bond deal in a bid to pay down debt. So what they're doing is they raised this money, $950 million to pay off a 10.5% interest rate bond. And now they have a 7.5% interest rate bond. So they effectively save 3% on their interest cost, which is a good thing. Now, as far as the options for the day are concerned, the positive order value was only 15% with 10 orders totaling $3.41 million. So definitely not a very bullish day as far as institutional order flows are concerned. As far as the short interest, you're sitting at 21.73% short interest of free float, 111.54 million shares that are sold short. Cost to borrow is going up almost at 4%. Share utilization is 80.16% and the days to cover is 2.54 days to cover. So that is also looking good. I mean, you couldn't really ask for any better numbers under the circumstances that we are looking at right now. This is incredible. And if we keep seeing the cost to borrow max going up, that's going to be a good sign and a good indicator that the shorts are probably starting to feel a little bit more pain. As far as the option data is concerned, we're not even going to you know, talk about what we've seen today. It was not very large amounts, only 15,000 calls that were in the money, 23,000 puts that were out of the money. But for next week, you do see 40,000 puts that are in the money and only 3,600 calls that are in the money. So if we do see a big bounce for whatever reason next week, which keep in mind, we have inflation readings that come out on Thursday, and that is going to be the most important catalyst of next week, then you could see a bounce. You could see a bounce in the markets. You could see a bounce in AMC and the amount of puts that are in the money relative to calls in the money and uh, the 65,000 calls that are out of the money as well. We could get a substantial bounce because of the options as well. That will add fuel to the fire. Now, as far as the 13 of filings that are coming out as well, they are looking incredibly bullish like we went over in the last video. More bullish than not bullish. We're not going to sit here and go through all of them, but a lot of firms are loading up and adding brand new positions. So that is obviously looking very good as well. As far as the max pain for AMC, for next week, it is sitting at $18 per share. So that most certainly is a good number. And it's not impossible to get to that number, especially if inflation does start to go down. For whatever reason, the 
um, estimated inflation reading is about 7.3%. So if we come in at say 7% or 6.5%, that could be very, very bullish for the markets. And that's exactly what I mean, I, I don't expect that, but I don't think it's going to come in at the higher end range, probably at the lower end range of the expectations around 7%. Now, why is AMC going to rally upon earnings? Well, Snapchat rally, Amazon rally, uh, all these other stocks, quite a few of them have been rallying substantially today and over the past couple of days when they do report earnings. Why is that? Why is that? You might ask. Well, it's because all of the bad news is being priced into these stocks before earnings. So if there's not something to latch onto that is very that is a very bad piece of information, the stocks tend to rally. And that's exactly what is happening with AMC. The markets are pricing in so much bad news that if you do see something good, which we already know the numbers are going to be good, the trading algorithms are probably going to give this stock a boost once those numbers are officially out, once the profit margins and all that are finalized on that report, then you're going to see a rally because all of the bad news has already been priced in. People that were going to sell have already sold and shorts will probably want to cover once we do see that big rally. I mean, if you are going to cover on your short position, it's probably going to be around these prices because uh, I mean, how much further is AMC really going to drop unless we see a full on market liquidation event? It's probably not going to drop all too much. So that's my thought process on it. And that's why I do think AMC has a stronger possibility than not of rallying upon earnings. AMC earnings are going to be. Let's pull this up. AMC earnings. Um, and we could see that AMC's earnings, I believe, is going to be March 9th. So that's going to look good right there. March 9th, that's going to put us, I mean, in about a month from now. So look forward to that. And it'll be interesting what AMC does in the meantime before we get to those earnings. So that's basically all you guys need to know for this video. Just a wild sell off into close. I honestly did not expect that after the bullish rally that we've seen, but it probably tells us that next week is going to be slightly on the bearish side. So hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. Make sure to check out the link down below in the pinned comment if you guys want access to all of our trades in real time. Love and appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.